I don't remember anything. It's my fault we came here, and now he's gone. But you want to be very careful. These people, they're not messing around. I need to know. What is it that I've done that makes me the honor? The smash hit returns. The Tourist starts New Year's Day at 9 on BBC One and iPlayer. Don't see what's wrong with a quiet night in. Now the party can really start. I'm thinking of coming home tomorrow. No more secrets, yeah? I just want you to be happy, George. Reckon there's any seats left on that flight? EastEnders. New Year's Day at 7.30 on BBC One and iPlayer. It's Saturday morning, and trust me, it is. And it's stuck here with you on BBC One. Nigel Slate is preparing his New Year's suppers at 11.30 after this year's final live visit to the kitchen. Good morning. We're all set to end the year as it began. On today's Football Focus, we hear from Matty Cash on Villa's unlikely title push. We assess what's next for Manchester United after confirmation of Sir Jim Ratcliffe's investment. Plus, Nigel Clough on 25 years in the dugout and all the action from a busy midweek in the Premier League. We'll see you in half an hour here on BBC One. I must admit, they do appear to be getting on famously. connected in the great circle of life. Is anything more beautiful than that? Doesn't matter who you are, as so long as somebody loves you. Fun for all the family this Christmas on BBC One and iPlayer. <laughs> So, Football Focus at midday, it's New Year's Eve. Eve, where's the time gone? Now on BBC One, Nigel Slater has some perfect meals for tomorrow. For me, when the kicks in. Paddington makes a splash, arriving on the shores on BBC iPlayer now. Just press red for the first of his live-action animated comedy adventures. And joining the final of the sequel, Paddington 2, later on today at 6, over on BBC One. We've got the film classic, Fiddler on the Roof, here today at 20 past 12. Fun, festive... Our yeah. festive special. <laughs> Endless possibilities. It's not in Ken. What's he doing in your house? Monstrous and incredible, but it is true. Who's <laughs> been in the naughty chair? Just the two of us. What do you think? I don't think any of us are going to make it through the new year. Are you waiting in there? Merry Christmas. Festive fun for everyone. This Christmas on BBC Two and iPlayer. So Fiddler on the Roof, the amazing film with a stellar cast in 20 minutes on BBC Two. Before that, quick bite to eat with John Turrode. MasterChef Battle of the Critics on iPlayer now. Press red. She taught the nation to cook, listen on sounds to Desert Island Discs with Delia Smith. I must admit, they do appear to be getting on famously. We are all connected in the great circle of life. Is anything more beautiful than that? Doesn't matter who you are, so long as somebody loves you. Fun for all the family this Christmas on BBC One and iPlayer.
very good Saturday afternoon to you. Thanks for making time for BBC Two. Royalty and rivalries. Mary, Queen of Scots at ten past three. Before then, from the stars to the soundtrack, it's a win-win. There's real football talk straight from the players. They're back with a new series. Listen now on BBC Sounds. Welcome to the game. Take it for your sack, laughing to themselves. Play it nice, you could end up six feet under. Play it dirty and you might come out on top. You're a traitor. 22 people play the ultimate game of treachery. The Traitors starts Wednesday, 3rd of January at 9 on BBC One and iPlayer. <sighs> We are welcoming new students. Joy riding a bus. Tanya, I want you to stay away from me. Mass exclusions from lessons, rolling in the corridors. Oh, I can't wait to see what day two holds. Waterloo Road. Watch the new series from Tuesday the 2nd of January on BBC iPlayer. The Lunchtime News now on BBC One with Nikki Schiller. Good afternoon. There's been more travel disruption this morning after Eurostar services to and from London St Pancras International were... Hello there, good afternoon. Still some potentially disruptive weather around for the rest of the weekend if you've got travel plans. We've seen some snow already across the central belt of Scotland, such as here in Glasgow, but the snow levels here should start to lift as we head through the rest of the afternoon. So any more wintry weather will be largely confined to the hills further north. There will be a lot more rain to come, though, particularly towards the west, with the risk of some coastal gales. And here is that deep area of low pressure. Pictured on the satellite picture here, a large swirl of cloud course it's all pushing further eastwards across East Anglia and South East England for the rest of the afternoon. Some fine drizzle but lots of dry weather and improving picture too across Northern Ireland but a lot more heavy rain to come up to 50 millimetres of wet weather perhaps across South West England and parts of Wales just clearing slowly eastwards. Some squally gusts of wind perhaps gusts of up to 60 to 75 miles an hour for exposed coastal areas. More rain too for Northern England with that snow risk just gradually transferring further northwards across Scotland mostly across the higher ground another five to ten centimetres could affect some of the roads here once more and then overnight tonight that cold front will gradually push further eastwards across central southern England and into southeast England squally gusts of wind particularly towards the south coast and some heavy downpours of rain but it is a mild night here and it's milder too across Scotland tonight than it was last night perhaps a bit of patchy frost in places and then tomorrow New Year's Eve it's going to be a day of blustery showers some of the showers could have some hail and some thunder in them some heavy downpours at times. Lots of dry weather across Scotland and with the low pressure centred here the winds will be lighter but some very blustery winds still across the south coast of England. Temperatures a little cooler for most of us. Now, if you're out celebrating tomorrow evening, New Year's Eve, of course, do expect to see a few showers on and off through the night, particularly across Northern Ireland and Northern England as we head through it towards midnight. Very windy still across the south coast of England. Lighter winds and a patchy frost for Scotland. Bye bye. I don't remember anything. It's my fault we came here and now he's gone. But you want to be very careful. These people, they're not messing around. I need to know. What is it that I've done that makes me the honor? The smash hit returns. The Taurus starts New Year's Day at 9 on BBC One and iPlayer. We are planning something rather special. I think we'll kick things off with a little Christmas cocktail. Oh, go on then. <laughs> <laughs> so grab your holly. Let's get jolly. It's Christmas! <laughs> oh, it's putting me in the Christmas mood already. Merry Christmas, everyone! <laughs> 
celebrate Christmas with BBC iPlayer. Well, it's almost the end of the year. One movie won't be enough. We're finding Dory at 2.35. But first, how well do we really know our pets? This game belongs to all of us. Middlesbrough v Aston Villa. Look at the draw! And Arsenal v Liverpool. Bit of a classic FA Cup tie, this. And the FA Cup third round starts next Saturday at 5.25 on BBC One and iPlayer. We are planning something rather special. I think we'll kick things off with a little Christmas cocktail. Oh, go on, then. <laughs> So oh, grab your holly. Let's get jolly. It's Christmas! Oh, it's put me in the Christmas mood already. Merry Christmas, everyone! <laughs> Celebrate Christmas with BBC iPlayer. <laughs> the world's most lovable bear. Just don't let him cut your hair. Paddington 2 at 6. Now on BBC One, we've a fish on a mission. She just needs to remember what it is. Welcome to the game. Take it for your sack, laughing with themselves. Play it nice, you could end up six feet under. Play it dirty, and you might come out on top. You're a traitor. 22 people play the ultimate game of treachery. The Traitors starts Wednesday, 3rd of January at 9 on BBC One and iPlayer. <sighs> We're back in our beloved Italy. <laughs> Bagging a bargain is Tuscany. Is that it? Massive, isn't it? And this time, I've taken the reins. Amanda's not going to know what's it up. Ow! <laughs> I'm basically in a hellhole. Oh, my God. Oh, no. I'm ready for it. Go, go, go! Hello, love! Uh, <laughs> Amanda and Alan's Italian job starts Friday at 30 on BBC One and Live Player. Christmas. I'm the doctor. Oh, yeah. Hold on tight. Who are you? Doctor Who Christmas Special. Watch on BBC iPlayer. I don't remember anything. It's my fault we came here and now he's gone. But you'd want to be very careful. These people, they're not messing around. I need to know. What is it that I've done that makes me the honor? The smash hit returns. The tourist starts New Year's Day at nine on BBC One and iPlayer. <laughs> One of the great weekends of every season. This game belongs to all of us. Middlesbrough the Aston Villa. Look at the draw! Arsenal v Liverpool. Bit of a classic FA Cup tie, this. And the FA Cup third round starts next Saturday at 5.25 on BBC One and iPlayer. 
superhuman gladiators are ready to do battle against everyday people. In a series of brutal events, will anyone be up to the challenge? What an epic eliminator! Brand new gladiators, coming soon to BBC One and iPlayer. We are planning something rather special. I think we'll kick things off with a little Christmas cocktail. Oh, go on then. <laughs> <laughs> so grab your holly. Let's get jolly. It's Christmas. <laughs> oh, it's putting me in the Christmas mood already. Merry Christmas, everyone! <laughs> Celebrate Christmas with BBC iPlayer. It'll take a bear and his family to catch a thief. Paddington 2 at 6. Now on BBC One, here's one man and his dog. Without conflict, there can be no drama. The bumpiest roads are often the most rewarding. Oh, I like to think that more for me than just a landlord. You gutless, lying weasel! Waterloo Road. Watch the new series from Tuesday the 2nd of January on BBC iPlayer. I'm a storyteller, mate. And what is the story? It's personal. So we're really doing this. What are you waiting for? Yes, yes! Come on! You have no idea what you have started. There is nothing more powerful than a good story. Binge the best drama this Christmas on BBC iPlayer. Let's break in the new year at the Masters. Well, that's absolutely epic. Doesn't get much better than this. <laughs> He's lit up the tournament. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. They sweat the technique. At last, the Masters. Starts next Sunday at 1, live on BBC Two and iPlayer. The Tea Time News now on BBC One with Clive Myrie. Hello there, thousands of Eurostar. Good evening. Well, our stormy spell of weather continues as we see out the final few days of 2023. Heavy rain has brought some flooding today. This is the picture in Worcestershire. It's also brought a bit of disruption due to snowfall across parts of Scotland as well. Now, the worst of the snow is easing away now, but during tomorrow, New Year's Eve, of course, still some blustery showers and windy conditions in the south and the west. Slightly less windy and slightly drier weather generally across the northeast of the UK. But here's this deep depression that's been swirling its way in, bringing this band of heavy rain and squally showers which shifts eastwards across England through the overnight period. A rash of showers returning from the west behind that. The rain and hill snow clears away from Scotland, but we may well be left with some icy conditions first thing tomorrow morning. So for New Year's Eve then, it's going to be windy, especially in the south. Gales through the English Channel gusts 50 to 60 miles per hour. Gales too for the Northern Isles, but less windy weather for central Scotland, northern England as well, but plenty of showers generally towards southern and western parts of the UK, probably driest for central Scotland, but a little cooler than today with temperatures around 6 to 10 degrees. And then if you're heading out to see the fireworks, New Year's Eve evening, then still quite a few showers. As we look towards midnight, probably focused around Northern Ireland, perhaps Northern England, fewer showers, not completely dry either side of that. It's going to be windy too in the south, less blustery though for Scotland. Bye-bye. I don't see what's wrong with a quiet night in. Now yeah, the party can really start. I'm thinking of coming home tomorrow. No more secrets, yeah? I just want you to be happy, George. Reckon there's any seats left on that flight. EastEnders, New Year's Day at 7.30 on BBC One and iPlayer.
Welcome to Saturday Night here on BBC One. It's Lindsay with you live, where it's time to swap turkey sandwiches for marmalade. There's more film fun tomorrow afternoon. The Jungle Book is here at 20 past four. Next on BBC One, Beth Tweddle, Krishnan Guru Murthy and Charlotte Crosby are hoping they won't break the chain. New celeb weakest link on the way. Doctor Who Christmas Special. Watch on BBC iPlayer. We are welcoming new students. Joyriding a bus. Tanya, I want you to stay away from this. Mass exclusions from lessons. Rolling in the corridors. Oh, I can't wait to see what day two holds. Waterloo Road. Watch the new series from Tuesday the 2nd of January on BBC iPlayer. How low can you go? Well, one of the famous faces can still do the splits. Find out who Pointless Celebrities follows all new Weakest Link here on BBC One. Tonight, we're testing... More famous faces on BBC One. Harriet Thorpe, Rosie Marcel and Colin Salmon prepare to be pointless next. And surely these Twixmas days are the perfect time to get your Agatha Christie on. Murder is easy. Press red for iPlayer. Welcome to the game. Treat us while you're sat here, laughing with themselves. Play it nice, you could end up six feet under. Play it dirty, and you might come out on top. You're a traitor. 22 people play the ultimate game of treachery. The Traitors starts Wednesday, 3rd of January at 9 on BBC One and iPlayer. <sighs> Box sets are plenty on sounds app this winter, including the search for the truth. Is there really something out there? Yeti, head to the Himalayas on your headphones with BBC Sounds. Detective Sergeant Rory Slater. I hear somebody's gone missing. It's my boyfriend. These people, they're not messing around. Do you have any idea what it's like to wake up every day and realise that you've no idea what you've done? Where even are we? I have no idea. Just like old times. The smash hit returns. The Tourist starts New Year's Day at 9 on BBC One and iPlayer. <laughs> Tested to breaking point when every decision counts. Unexpected outcomes as casualty returns in 50 minutes after a new pointless present from BBC One. Storyteller, mate. And what is the story? It's personal. So we're really doing this. What are you waiting for? Yes, yes. Come on. You have no idea what you have started. There is nothing more powerful than a good story. Binge the best drama this Christmas on BBC iPlayer.
evocative memories on BBC Two, celebrating Michael Parkinson, startling showbiz moments and warm, no-nonsense intelligence, all revealed in an interview with his own son back in 2021. Drama, action, humour. BBC One's got it all on New Year's Day at nine. Jamie Dornan returns as the tourist, a taster on the way. And your seat's reserved for the premiere of Marry Me, starring Jennifer Lopez and Owen Wilson tomorrow night at 8.25. Sergeant Rory Slater. I hear somebody's gone missing. It's my boyfriend. These people, they're not messing around. Do you have any idea what it's like to wake up every day and realise that you've no idea what you've done? Where are you, now? I have no idea. Just like old times. The smash hit returns. The Tourist starts New Year's Day at 9 on BBC One and iPlayer. She was wrong with a quiet night in. Now the party can really start. I'm thinking of coming home tomorrow. No more secrets, yeah? I just want you to be happy, George. Reckon there's any seats left on that flight? EastEnders. New Year's Day at 7.30 on BBC One and iPlayer. Good evening. It's the last Saturday match of the day of 2023 and it's a beauty. We've got six games for you featuring sides at both ends of the Premier League table. Goals are our business and we've got 22 of them with no shortage of drama either. It's not to be missed. Join us here on BBC One after the news at 10.25. Now your late evening BBC News with Clive Myrie.